name is Isabel Culpepper from East Alama Sci-Fi. This week I will be reviewing Close Encounters of the Third Guy. Ah. What happens in the film, like in a short summary, a guy goes insane trying to find aliens, a girl loses her son while going insane trying to find aliens. They meet and they pretty much meet aliens while the government is trying to hide this from everybody. Roy is, I can't, can't get out of his head. He's this normal guy. He doesn't know what it is. He doesn't know what it shall ever be. He keeps getting this vision, but he knows he has to go this, this area. He goes cray cray. He literally just flat out abandoned his family. Like he says, you know what, Ronnie, everything's coming down. And he starts throwing like plants in their window and like dirt and he steals chicken wire and he throws that in their window and he throws like bricks in their window and he throws a trash can. He makes this giant sculpture of what he sees in his head. Doing this, he loses his entire family because they think he's cuckoo. Aliens. Close encounters of the first kind mean that you report or you see a UFO. And the close encounters of the fit of the fifth kind. No, that's like chilling with them having poker. Close encounters of the third kind is making actual physical contact. I thought the way they communicate with aliens was really cool. Da 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 da. No, but it was like lower. Da da da. No. But one thing that all cultures have in common is like music and living, but mostly music. We all have music, except deaf people. But mostly we all have music. I do believe in aliens, but I don't really want to worry about them. If they wanna come, they can come. Meantime, I'll be like, chill with my YouTube. I'd show them like Jenna Marbles or Shane Dawson or Smosh or Keep Awesome. Keep Awesome, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> I've never seen an alien. I've seen some suspicious things that look like animal breeding. I thought the aliens were too cliche. Their heads were too big and they had Voldemort noses and they had like these weird bug eyes. For like the amount of money they had, they could have at least made like a good alien costume. The government. I think the government was trying to hide aliens for everyone because like if they knew about aliens, everyone would be like, oh my God, extraterrestrials, we must murder them. I think the government is hiding all the UFO stuff. Area 51 people, where are the other 50 areas? We could have like one in Russia. I do think it is a good idea for the government to hide proof of aliens because if people find out there's gonna be like one crazy person who's just gonna be like, you know what's I hate aliens, they're gonna like run up during the big government operation. They're gonna take out a gun and they're gonna shoot an alien once it comes out and then the aliens are just gonna be like, okay, time to nuke this place. Everyone with the IPs of that one idiot. For the time and what effects they had, it was really well made. It's nearly as good as any of the stuff we'd make today. There was a bunch of things that we can now make like in easy. They didn't even have CGI. I think the best special effect in the movie was probably that giant cloud. There was just this giant cloud that was just like, I'ma steal your son. <laughs> you can like hide your kids, hide your wife. I'm an alien. I would rate this movie two and a half llamas out of five llamas. This movie is literally two hours and 15 minutes long. I was up till like midnight watching this. I was dead tired. Spielberg just chopped the movie in half. This movie was too long. I am dying. Remember the part in the movie where there was all the spaceships zooming by? What was the tiny red dot? Like it wasn't an alien light form and it wasn't a spaceship because it was too small. So like, what was the tiny red dot? Comment below because I want to find out what you think the tiny red dot was. Thank you for watching my review of Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Make sure to share, comment, subscribe, and keep that like button up. Lava dots away! And ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you smoke llama fur.